Hey guys, so we are going to do the basic of foundation and contouring. What we're going to use is um, liquid foundation, which evens out your tone basically, and then concealer helps you sculpt your face. So you can start by moisturizing your skin, and then we're going to start by evening out the skin tone. So this is like a wet foundation just to even out my skin tone. I also like coverage but not too much because I like to see the texture of the skin so I try not to overdo the coverage. Um, I suggest you use a foundation that's your skin tone or a little bit darker than your skin tone. Basically the easiest thing is to match any color of foundation to your jawline. So maybe put three swatches of foundation on your jaw and that's when you see what resembles your skin the most. When your foundation is there ready, now you need to bring out what's beautiful in you and sculpt your face. I like two to three different types of concealers or even foundation colors. Right now I have a light, medium and dark concealer. I'm just going to conceal basically what's under my eye. Don't just do it here, like if it's there, then you spread it out to the side. And always put it on the side of your nose because you're usually always red here. If you have pimples or whatever, moles you want to conceal, then just dab it on those spots. I like my moles. So. Next is to conceal uh, the T area. You want to lighten that up as well as the chin. So put it on the bridge of your nose and then in the center here. There. That was easy. Now before going to the lightest concealer, we're going to go to the darkest one and do the actual sculpting of the face. You can use liquid foundation or a dark concealer. So basically, I'm just going to draw the line it's under your cheekbone and then on your jawline there, which we're going to spread and around your forehead basically all around your face and then we're going to spread that Obviously, depending on the shape of your face uh, you can change this Like My face is quite long so I, I kind of contour almost straight Whereas if your face was square and short, then you can put the contouring more towards the lower part so it gives you an illusion of longer features. This is supposed to look like a natural shadow, so you want it to look like it's part of your skin. Talaga. And then spread the top part. Do the same thing to the other side. And actually this is the only base you need in reality for every day. Uh, I know here in the Philippines people love to contour their noses. Uh, I don't really like doing it because I have a French nose. <laughs> but when I do have to do it, I contour with foundation or concealer as well because this makes it more natural. So the same dark one, I'll just put it on my nose line and spread it. And I also use this to create a deeper crease on my eye since I'm medio chinita and this will help give depth to the eye. So you basically put it right under your eye bone. So you see it creates an illusion of depth but it's natural, it's not like an eyeshadow. And now that that is done, now I get the lighter concealer and highlight all the parts I want popped out, meaning cheekbone, nose bridge, maybe the part under the eyebrows, uh, around the lips, and on the eyelid. So I'm just putting it on the darker part of my eyes, and then I'm just gonna dab it. There. Now we're just going to set it. When we set it, we set it with um, powder, and then we can Recontour on top lightly with a darker powder as well. So right now I'm gonna use a lighter powder for under my eyes Don't go too light or you're gonna look like a raccoon So if for the foundation you're going one tone darker than your usual uh, skin tone for the eye can for the concealer of the eyes use your actual skin tone here on all the light areas I'm putting the lighter powder And then for the rest, I'm going to use uh, a loose powder so that it's just a little bit lighter of a coverage. So for the loose powder as well, I usually take one that's a bit darker than my skin tone. So now we're going to contour. So you usually get uh, a darker color or a bronzer. We're going to go on top of all the dark areas we did a while ago. So cheekbone. So 
So jawline, cheekbone, and around the face. And again, for our last contouring tip, you can use that dark, same dark powder to emphasize your eye crease. So basically just under the bone. So you can draw a natural eyelid and then just spread it out with your finger so it looks natural. See, it's literally just on this line and then you just spread it out. So as you guys can see, I got a bit excited with the contour and it has some dark blotches. Don't panic. All you need to do is, first of all, blend. Blending is key to everything. So just keep going over what you did with no powder first so that you're blending everything together and everything kind of seeps in nicely into your skin. And then if you still see some dark areas, then you can get powder again, loose powder, and just go over it. And then we can just end by contouring the lips with the uh, same color as your actual lip tone. So there you go girls, this is how to do the proper foundation and contouring and we did it really quickly actually. You don't have to stay one hour in front of the mirror to do this. And this is a look you can go to the market with or you can even go to the office with. It's just a nice clean fresh face. I'm not wearing any uh, powder on the eyes, I'm not wearing uh, any eyebrow, pencil, nothing. It's just clean, natural, fresh look.